Welcome back and Happy New Year! In this video, I'm going to share with you some really easy ways that you can freshen up your home for the new year. First, if you haven't already, it's time to take down Christmas. I just did this. I waited a little bit. You guys are probably have already done it, but I didn't get my crap together in time. I honestly procrastinate doing this because I think it's going to take longer than it actually is. But the truth is, it was just a few hours to pack up everything and a quick tip is getting rid of the boxes for your ornaments. I know you're horrified right now, but consider getting rid of the boxes and opting for solo cups instead, gluing them to cardboard so you can just toss in your ornaments as you take them off the tree. No wrapping, no finding the box. It's super fast and your ornaments are really safe and protected. You gotta try this tip. As I was packing everything up, I kept having to like take little sit down five minute breaks, mostly because I'm out of shape. Don't be afraid to stop for a tea or a coffee or have dinner while you're packing up your decor, but don't stop until it's all put away. This was all done in just a couple of hours. Now is the perfect time of year to freshen up your space. You've taken down Christmas. It's time for like a deep clean. When I say deep clean, I don't mean like a real deep clean. I mean like a lazy deep clean. So dusting, wiping down all your surfaces, a really good vacuum for all of those pine needles, even though I have artificial trees, why is there so many freaking pine needles? And a really good mop. Start your new year right with a fresh, clean home. Another way to freshen your home is to change your decor a little bit. You don't even have to spend money. Rearranging furniture is a perfect way to freshen up and give your space a new feeling for the new year. I got a gift card and I went to HomeSense. I had $60 and I found this giant painting behind me. It was the only one there that was uh, the price of the gift card that I had and also matched my decor. So I was very excited about it. I brought it home and just one thing, just like that, a change of artwork can change the entire feel of your space. I also recommend bringing in some dollar store greenery or real greenery if you have a green thumb, but I can't keep plants alive. So dollar store greenery it is. It definitely livens up your space. It makes it feel fresh and on a really small budget. I've had these old curtains for like a million years that I bought and I decided to change it up. A few little changes like curtains, new artwork, that's all it takes to really change the feel of your space. And sometimes that little bit of change is all we need to love our home all over again. And last but not least, do some hardcore decluttering. As you're putting away stuff that you or your family got for Christmas, don't be afraid to totally pitch some of the old stuff. I've been decluttering like crazy pants so far. I'm gonna show you the pile. It's pretty intense. I really wanna challenge you to go through and declutter as well because nothing feels better than a clutter-free home. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're feeling inspired to freshen up your space for the new year. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. The painting, the painting. Okay, so here's the thing. I got a $60 gift card from my mother-in-law. That's all I had. I went to HomeSense, which is like a discount home store. And I was looking for something teal because I have a thing with teal and I didn't want to change anything else. So anyways, I saw this painting and I'm like, ah, abstract art. It's sparkly, it's pretty, it has teal in it. And I brought it home. And my daughter, who's 13 said, it kind of looks like a sparkly butthole. It looks exactly like a sparkly butthole. So now that's all I can see. I walk into the room and I'm like, I, I'm gonna tell you the truth, do not do this. I Googled butthole. It looks, I, sh I mean, I knew, but I, it was, it's uncanny. Please don't Google it, trust me, just take my word for it. It's uncanny. This is 100% the painting of a butthole. And so now it's a giant, giant sparkly butthole in my living room. And it's staying this way because one, I have the sense of humor of a 12 year old boy and I find it hilarious. And two, I throw out the receipt. So sparkly butthole painting for the win. The real question is how did my 13 year old daughter Izzy know what a butthole looks like? That's a question for another day. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time.